Hello everybody, we're here for another SPL vlog and we're going to get right into this one. We had Titan vs. Upcoming Stars in the European scene, uh, European scene in Spring Week 3 here. Uh, going as expected, 2-0, to zero, Titan over Upcoming Stars. Upcoming Stars having a hard time finding their place in the SPL and the European scene. Titan... Uh, showing everybody why they were a top contender and why they did so well at Worlds and why they are continuing to be a top team in Europe. Repikos really playing strong. Uh, HUD match brings so much AoE to the table. They were in a really strong comp uh, with their AoEs. Sylvanas and Hunbat's ults together plus Agni Bombs is detrimental to the enemy team. Uh, they never took off on European stars. On European stars, yes, whatever. Upcoming stars. And uh, they just could not find their footing. Uh, no different, really, in this second game. Uh, they could not get started uh, a little bit better uh, from the jungle side of things. But in the ADC lane, it was uh, it was not good. Uh, five deaths on Geb. Kanye Life and Ataraxia really playing strongly there together making sure to put that game away and uh, even faster than they won their first game. That's 2-0 uh, heavily in favor of Titan. The other game in the European scene was Fnatic versus Dig. Honestly, I think people expected uh, possibly Dig to take this one 2-1 or perhaps Fnatic to take it 2-1. It was going to be a close one, uh, a schlobber knocker as what Bart says. But actually, Fnatic takes it uh, pretty handily here in the first game. Uh, 30 minutes, typical length right now for a uh, professional smite game. Uh, right about that time where you get, where well, you've snowballed, and then you can get your items, and you can push down towers and phoenixes, finish off a team fight, and finish up the game. Uh, very strong play coming out overall from Fnatic. Uh, Mania doing extremely well. 8-2-10 uh, and 10 on Hercules. Uh, really causing a lot of disruption all over the place for them. Uh, Dig had a hard time. Uh, right now, a lot of people are having a hard time in the ADC lane. As we can see, uh, six deaths on the support is a lot of deaths. Uh, when you fall behind early on support right now, that's really detrimental. You can't really come back. You rely a lot on your team to get ahead right now. So you can uh, follow them in their footsteps, and that just did not happen. Second game went even more in favor of Fnatic Reels. Doing what Reels does, going 10-1-6. Uh, there's a reason why this guy is considered the best hunter in Europe uh, and probably has been for a long time. He plays very well. He almost never has off games. Uh, even if he's not ecstatic off the charts, he's always doing well. And uh, I think he really showed it in that second game versus Dignitas. Uh, Dig still going to be 2-1 and one, though, I believe, as well as Fnatic and Titan. So it's going to be a three-way tie. I can't think of anybody else in Europe that would have two and one right now. So that's pretty good uh, over in Europe. So moving over to the NA side of things, we have Cloud9 versus Cognitive. Uh, the first game actually going 40 minutes, kind of back and forth. Um, really, Cognitive having the uh, dominant performance here towards the end of the game. Uh, Cog's big problem right now is team fights, in my opinion. Uh, individually, they are very skilled players, but they need to find a way to transition into the team fight stage. And uh, they need either work on communication or something or another. They have to get something down to where they can get the cogs ha -ha, to churn and just hit each other at the right spots. Uh, very strong team individually that's not quite coming together as a team. Second game, still a long game, 36 minutes. Um, this could be due to the fact that... Uh, Cloud9 plays relatively passively as a general rule as well. But realistically, the, the kills are close in the second game. The times are over 30 minutes, which is about where games are ending. Uh, Cognitive is putting up a good fight against top teams like Cloud9. They just need a little oomph. They need like a little, they need something to click something or another. I don't know what that uh, necessarily is right now, but they're very close to uh, getting a breaking point where they can be a top contender. And of course, the game I've been avoiding to talk about since it happened, TSM versus previously Melior Morior, now AFK Gaming, previously Complexity, previously Snipe, previously everything else. Uh, first game going 30 minutes here. Uh, 
the kills don't necessarily show it, but it was actually a relatively close game for the first 20 minutes. Pretty passive from both sides. Uh, a thrown Gold Fury uh, attempt to win. A win in a team fight followed by a really good taunt from Divios into uh, a couple of skills from the opposing team. Caused Gold Fury to go the wrong way and uh, really snowballed TSM out of control in the first game. Uh, leading to their victory uh, at the typical 30 minute mark. <laughs> the second game is uh, Oh boy, just not good um, Very strong play coming out from TSM a combination of strong picks strong counter picks uh, momentum strong individual play strong team fight super confidence comes together and uh they ended up doing absolutely demolishing, not even close. Uh, very strong strategies coming out from TSM uh, in those games against AFK, uh, really showing why TSM is uh, a top uh, team in North America and in the world for that matter. Looking at some of the stuff that we have coming in towards next week, it's hard to see down here, but right over here you can see the upcoming games. We have tomorrow, Titan vs. Trig, which is going to be a fantastic game. I'm going to give this one to my boys at Trig. Uh, I love those guys. I'm friends with them. I think when Trig is on their game, they're unstoppable. But I also think that Trig can be very inconsistent. Uh, Trig on point, very top. Trig doing weird things, not so strong. Uh, it should be a pretty strong game regardless. Uh, I'm saying 2-1 to one Trig, but it could be 2-1 to one the either way. C9 vs. Denial, another really awesome game coming up on Thursday. Uh, Thursday's got some awesome games. Denial beat TSM. TSM beat C9. Logic shows us that Denial beat C9. That's not how it always works. We beat Denial, but then lost the TSM. So, you have to keep that in mind. I'm thinking this one's going to go 2-1 the way of C9, but Denial could take this. Uh, if they get their early game strats off, Denial is a very strong team uh, to deal with. So that's all we have for today, guys. If you like my reviews, please subscribe to me on YouTube. I also do a lot of guides and fun highlights and whatnot. And as always, have a twitching day, y'all.